One useful strategy here is to choose some nice numbers for A and B, then calculate the number of minutes it would take to empty the pool, and then see which of our five answer choices evaluates to be the same number of minutes. Our other approach is more algebraic. We're going to begin by examining what can be accomplished in one minute. We know that in one minute, pump A can empty a certain fraction of the pool, and this fraction is equal to 1 over A. Similarly, we know that the fraction of the pool that pump B can empty in one minute is equal to 1 over B. Now to determine what both pumps can do when working together, we'll add our two fractions to get the following. Now this represents the fraction of the pool that can be emptied in one minute when both pumps are working together. Given this information, we can determine the total number of minutes it takes to empty the entire pool. Now keep in mind that the pool is not completely full when both pumps begin working together. Prior to this, pump A has already been emptying the pool for one minute. So let's determine how full the pool is after the first minute. We know that after one minute, the fraction of the pool that has been emptied is equal to 1 over A. This means that the fraction remaining is equal to A minus 1 over A. We're now ready to determine the number of minutes it takes to empty the pool. First, we have our minute where pump A is working by itself. And to this, we'll add the number of minutes it takes both pumps working together to empty the pool times the fraction of the water that is remaining when both pumps begin working together. And this equals the following, which is the same as B.